All right, so Brother Jeremy came to uh, visit me in New York today, so we're just sitting here shooting the crap. And uh, my buddy Dan Steinwender sent me a great big giant hunk of chaga, tender fungus, from up north today. So I'm drying it out by the drying it by the heat of the stove here. And we're so anyway, we're talking about your polypro you haven't got yet. Yeah, <laughs> no doubt. Uh, hopefully those come in because I'm looking forward to those 100% merino. Oh, they're merino wool. Mm, they're merino, yeah. Did um, you get Did you get the wool powers, or did you get them from somebody else? Oh, I'm trying to think. Um, I can't remember because I ordered things from 33 degrees north and Icebreakers was the okay. two. Icebreakers makes really good they stuff. They do. Really. And the yeah. shirt and stuff I got, this yeah. the regular t-shirt, It's that's who that's from. Icebreakers makes some good um, stuff. Also, I, I got online. I don't know if you want to post it, but I, I got online. I ordered the stuff. I am going to I am going to cook up some of Nesmook's uh, insect repellent so we oh, can have awesome. it for the Everglades. I've got everything coming for it. Um, it should be here this coming week, and I got enough to make at least three batches. Oh, cool! So we can kind of play with it, and also um, I was talking about making a um, like a waterproof for, for leather for yep. us to use at the Pathfinder School, and I actually think I figured out what all I need, and we've got it all at the house. Excellent! So because we Excellent. we did some uh, some soap making and lip balm and odds and ends at the house here over the weekend, and I did some playing around with different things and come up with what I think is a pretty good cool. Cool. Cocks, so. I hope your wife likes that drop spindle, man. Oh, it's she's it's alpaca. It. Oh, is it? It's alpaca. Oh, she's going to yeah. love that because she's been yeah. wanting to get a freaking... I got it from Alpaca's Direct. Oh, that's so. awesome, dude. She's I was going to get it from Jazz Townsend, and mm -hmm. I thought, nah, I'm just going to get this thing from an alpaca farm, and then she can play with alpaca wool. And, and yeah. see, she wants to get some alpaca wool anyway, cool. and that's her whole thing, so that fits perfect, man. She's going to love it. She was giving me grief anyway because I told her, I said, hey, uh, Dave and I are you know, man, they picked you something up for Christian. Oh, they didn't have to give me nothing. You know, she just gave me the devil, and I said, I, I, said, I didn't tell them to. I said, they did it on their own. Nah. I said they they're they're like that they're cool, so but she's she's gonna she's gonna love that. So as a matter of fact, I just found her book. I gave it to her for Christmas. Of course, we don't ever wait till Christmas. We always just give stuff, you know. Uh, it was actually a book on uh, natural dyes. Oh, cool! And uh, how to basically from the sheep wash it, and, right? You know, process it all the way up through oh, the skin. Oh, that's awesome, man! Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, so she was she was absolutely in love with that. She'd been telling all of her friends about that. So that's cool. So it's, it's coming along, but how long do you think it'll take that to dry? Fit right there. I could have sworn that was going to fit right there. There you go. Counterbalance. Counterbalance. <laughs> Um, how long do I think it's going to take to dry? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's it's fairly dry, but Dan said it wasn't quite dried out enough yet. So yeah. I figure if I leave it sitting well, there for a few this, hours, this stuff has to be bone dry to catch a spark, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, but he said it. He said, "Man, oh man," he said, "Once you dry it out, he said it catches a spark amazingly." Mm -hmm. So. And it's supposed to be very medicinal too. I haven't done a whole lot of research on it because we don't have the shaga here, mm -hmm. you know, in Ohio. But it's supposed to be very, very medicinal too. So I thought, you know, multi-purpose piece of kit. You know, it's a fire starting implement plus it's medicinal. So mm -hmm. we'll see what happens. Um, I was getting more into doing research the other day on those trees. You know, we're always talking about all the, yep. the, the properties of trees. And I had come across a reference um, online. I wish I could back up it, but you know how we talked about walnut and possibly being a um, like an irrigation for a wound. Yep. Clean a wound. I've seen a reference to oak. Oh yeah. And, oh yeah. Oak's, I, uh, oak's hugely in Yeah. Septic. And yep. uh, I figured the tannin, you know, everybody complains about that tannin, but from what I've read up on it, it said you have to have a huge amount of tannin right. to actually do anything to you. Yep. And uh, But they talked about how, how great that was. Yeah, oak is good. That was one of the five trees when I did the original series of videos on medicinal trees. That was one mm -hmm. of them I did was the oak. Because it's really, really good. That, actually, the research that I did um, in one of the uh, books by Matthew Wood mm -hmm. um, talks about the oak leaf was actually the original symbol for medicinal herbals mm -hmm. because oak is so good yeah. you know, as a medicinal and so. I, and I've seen that um, and overseas and like some of the pharmacies and stuff you'll see those symbols like yeah. that and I've you know and, and up until recently I never knew and I thought well, I wonder what that's all about but that that does make sense some of the older European countries yeah, um, but that and I find that interesting and I mean I agree with you you know 100% when you talk about especially in the winter you have something that you can go to absolutely and still use I mean plants are hard to find in the winter trees are always there mm -hmm. yeah yep. I uh was back in the back today um, doing laundry and I had that bucket of black walnut hulls mm -hmm. sitting on the porch of the head shed back there mm -hmm. and a squirrel's been getting in there and pulling them out I assume it's a squirrel pulling oh, yeah. them out taking them over on the ground tearing the husk off of it and taking the nuts 
So I had, but there was, well, I had a half a five gallon bucket. There's probably six left in there. Holy That's how many he's got. Someone off me. stocked his nest. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> I, so I took one of the small live traps back there today mm -hmm. and put the rest of the nuts in it. Oh, heck yeah. yeah I said, all right, come get them now, pal. <laughs> oh, I'll have you. Speaking of which, I'm glad you said that. I found a ra uh, woods rat's nest. Oh, really? And I set some traps out for him, some cool. live traps. So hopefully cool. we'll be able to do some videos on that here soon. Every day I've been having two great big crows up here mm -hmm. in the morning. And I have yet to be able to sneak out there with a shotgun before I scare them away. But I mean, these things are the size of vultures, man. I've been waiting to blast one of them so I can eat crow. I've got a crow call. We'll have to come out here and try to <laughs> call them in. <laughs> oh, that's funny.